So once we've made this electricity, we need to get it around the country. And the way that's done is on something called the national grid. We need to know what the national grid is. We need to know what uses high voltages. And we need to know how those high voltages are produced. So the first thing we need to understand is a little bit of history about this. Here's a picture of Battersea Power Station. This was a power station that provided electricity for London. There's another one up here somewhere called Bankside Power Station, which is now the Tate Modern Gallery. You'll see these are right in the middle of London on very expensive land. Neither of them are used as power stations anymore. This is because um, now we can get electricity from any point in the country. When these were built, really only your local power station to provide you with electricity. Somebody owned this power station separate to the other ones. They'd produce electricity for the people who lived in this part of London. Okay, that's very inefficient. If the power station needed updating or something, you can see it would be surrounded by buildings even when it was built. Um, hard to get all that coal in here to burn. Right, a very inefficient, a very inefficient way to run um, a national supply of electricity. So what happened? Well, they built wires all around the country. So here's a little map of the national grid. These aren't all the wires. These are just the main wires. You'll notice a few interesting things. So, for example, if you're interested in what this huge town might be here that needs electricity, in fact, it's the other way around. This is Sizewell Power Station, one of the biggest nuclear power stations in the country. That's putting electricity into the grid. So it goes in here. Obviously, here is the city. This is London, where a lot of that electricity goes to. So there are power lines taking electricity from uh, Drax Power Station, there's a big power station up here in the north um, east of England that's taking a lot of electricity down, coming to Birmingham. There aren't very many power stations actually around Birmingham anymore, right? But all of these power lines are going from power stations to major places where lots of people live. There are lower voltage lines going to smaller areas. Obviously, if you live here or if you live in Mid Wales, it doesn't mean you can't get electricity. They just don't have the very big power lines going there. Okay, this one up here, this is another nuclear power station up in Anglesey. Okay, again, taking a lot of electricity from there into the northwest conurbation. So, National Grid is a really good idea. It means we can get electricity from the people who make it to the people who need it. Once a power station has generated electricity, it needs to transmit it across country to people's homes. Electricity flows along miles of overhead and underground cabling. But when an electric current flows through any wire, it heats up. This steel rod completes a circuit. As the current is increased, the rod begins to glow. Eventually, it becomes white hot and so soft it can even be tied in a knot. Transmitting a high current would be very inefficient. Most of the electrical energy would be lost as heat. So how do power stations prevent large-scale heat loss when sending electricity to our homes? Well, that's a great question. How do they do it? Well, as you might have got from the end of the um, little video there, the secret is transformers. So here's our power station. Our power station's making electricity at a fairly high voltage, but not very high. Quite a high current. Right? If you try to send that current all the way to the homes without doing anything else to it, a lot of the energy will get wasted on the way as heat. But it's the current that heats the wire up, and there's two things that control the amount of power you're sending. One is the current, but the other is the voltage. So if you want to send a high amount of energy or a high amount of power, then the way to do it is to have a very high voltage so the current has to be doesn't have to be too big. Okay, the way we do that is with a step up transformer. So at this end, as the electricity to help you remember this is going up into the power lines, right? The reason it's called a step up transformer is not because the electricity is going up, it's because it's a the voltage is going up. Okay, but when the voltage goes up, the current goes down and that saves us heating the wire up and wasting loads of energy. Obviously, you can't have very, very high voltages going into people's homes. That would be dangerous. So at the other end of the cable, you've got a step-down transformer. The step-down transformer means the voltage goes down 
and then you can take it off into separate people's homes. There's a bit more detail in here. In some places, you have these little local step-down transformers again going into your house. Okay, but as long as you remember, step up at the power station, the voltage goes up and the current goes down. And then at the other end, step-down transformer means the voltage goes down and the current goes back up. And the point of doing this is so we don't waste loads of energy as heat in the wires. We get it all from the power station to the people who use it.